know what due diligence you need to do before you buy property. Most buyers don't. They think that I'll get the contract reviewed, I'll get a strata report if it's a strata property, or I'll get a building and pest inspection. They sort of think that's enough, but it isn't. Let me tell you about some of the things that can happen if you don't know what to look for and you don't do your due diligence. And I'm gonna also say one thing here about buyers agents. I'm alarmed to hear that some don't do due diligence or they don't do more than you would do. Now, that's not a value add. So if you're gonna use a buyer's agent, check that. Ask them what their process is. Ask them what do they do that you wouldn't do. It's really important. Now here's an example for strata owners or community title owners. You could be buying an apartment, townhouse, villa. I keep hearing this story over and over again. People that bought in and then within the next quarter, they get slapped with a special levy. Special levy that they didn't know was coming. You know, it could be $5,000, it could be $20,000, it could be $1,000, it doesn't really matter. They didn't know it was coming but they could have known it was coming. It's really important to check the records before you buy into a multi-owned property. And yet so few buyers actually realize that. And then when they do check the records, they don't know what to look for. So that is an absolute classic and it's a really common thing that I come across. And there's loads of other things with strata properties that you can uncover through due diligence. And one of them is building defects. You need to understand what is on the horizon. What are you buying into? And one thing a lot of buyers don't realize is they're buying an obligation. Once you buy into that building, you are part of the body corporate, depending on what jurisdiction you're in, that name will change. But the principle is that you buy into an obligation to maintain that building and keep it up to scratch. So you've got to understand what your responsibilities are going to be so that you can be much more aware of what you need to look for before you buy one. That's just one example. There's loads. Recently, I was watching the news after some floods and there was a guy up the north coast of New South Wales who just bought his first home and it had been completely gutted and damaged by the floods. And he hadn't insured it because when he went to insure it, he found that the insurance premium was gonna be something like $13,000. Now, why? Because it's in a flood zone. Could he have found that out before he bought the property? Hell yeah. In fact, in New South Wales, there's a document that has to go in every contract and it's called the zoning certificate. And in there is information about floods. Now, if he didn't do his due diligence, which he obviously didn't, then he wouldn't know that. But it's all there to be found out. So you've got to understand what it is you're buying, what information you need before you buy that property and where to get that information. That's a real simple one, that's a no-brainer. The agent had to actually give him a copy of the contract before he could buy the property. It was there, he didn't even have to go looking for it. There's other things you can find out in the very same document. Is the road gonna be widened? Is it a bushfire zone? Is it a heritage conservation area? These are really important things you need to know before you buy a property. But you need to go further than that, and this information is all out there. What are the neighbors going to do? If one about to build a monolith that blocks all your light and your view, now, I've just touched on a few things here, and obviously, if you don't know what you don't know, it's going to be difficult to do the due diligence. And it's one of the things that people would expect from a buyer's agent. So I'm encouraging you, if you're thinking about using a buyer's agent, add that to your list of questions for them. What is your due diligence process? You want to see it super thorough. You want to see stuff there that you've never thought of. And you want to make sure that they're uncovering the things that you could know before you buy that property. Don't go for a buyer's agent who's really good at just selling themselves but not great at doing the job. So really do some digging there, do some due diligence on the buyer's agent. Now I'm all for getting more truth and transparency and trust out there in the property industry. If you wanna join the conversation, leave a comment.